Uh, the first lady to speak is Mary Bryson. And you won't believe this, she isn't coming all at all. She is... South Wales. She's from South Wales, and she'll tell you how she how she came to Cumbernauld. When I met my husband in London, we were only 15, 16, I had, we had to go to London to work. Uh -huh. And I met my husband, I went to Kemp's, let's get back to them. I went to Kemp's and I met my husband the dancing, where we got engaged, and I came up to Cumbernauld to see it. Where I went. What did you think of it? Well, I mean, when you think of it, we came on the Sunday, it was a Sunday afternoon, and he says, come on, go down the glen for a walk. I met all his pals then, you think of it, or uh, the first time out of Findlay Place, they lived in Findlay Place then, I was still mm -hmm. vacant. And I walked, we went to walk right round there, right down. We met everybody, I think, in the village first. <laughs> Mine, Peter Johnston, he lived in where Job Watson uh. lived. The roadside, that's all gone, that's all changed. And your, your first um, your first home, Mary, what was what was it like? Well then I went back to we went back to London. Oh, I wasn't married then, I went back to London and then I got I was married in London. My husband took ill. He was in hospital when the war broke out. I was working in Smith's Fox uh, well oil gauges for aeroplane. Yeah. And then uh, he was put out of hospital. So my mother says bring him to Wales. You know, so we went back to Wales, where we were bombed out, and I had a, I in come Wales? up here, yes, in Wales, yes. and we come up here. I stayed with his father, Cadonald. I didn't like Cadonald, you know, so we came out here to Cumberland. Yes. I stayed in Findlay Place, and then I went to what, meet what the main street. What kind of a house was it first of all? Well, Findlay Place is still, it's just the same now. Yeah. The building is empty, but it's still there. The husband's aunt That's kept the shop, you see, yeah. she was a local end, shop. Mm. No, so, no. no, just, no, no single end. But even that is all changed. Like I got that and the paintings, how it used to be. With the result, I got a first place, there was a single end adjoining the Spur Hotel. It was found Mrs. Bateman had a room kitchen upstairs, mm. and I was underneath. It used to be a shop, painter's shop, I think, a local mm. painter's. Walker, the local painter, used to be a shop there. Mm -hmm. And I came, I would, we lived in there for about, well, I went in there in, in August. I was out in January, and then I went to the Barn Hill. I maybe was in the Barn Hill for four years. Maybe you want to be breathing, maybe. Mm -hmm. No, come no. on now. This, this is Nan this is Dent now, we all know the name in Cumberland Road. <laughs> I come from Bonnybridge actually. I came to Cumbernauld when I was married in 1940. I uh, lived in a single end in the main street, which was very nice, it was very bright. And there was a, a baker's at each side, a bake, bake house, and there was lovely smells in the morning. In the, on, you know, on uh -huh. one side, Thanks. one time, another side. I lived there for 25 years. And did, did you have your family in the meantime? Yes, family I had two, family. yes. So, so I waited 25 years before I got a new house. I see. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, my husband died four months after we bought the house, so I've been on my own since then. Mm -hmm. My son was in the Navy. He, was, he married young, and I had my daughter then as well. The, the, the well, the, the, in the single end there was a water, but we had an outside toilet and uh, an outside wash house with the big wooden tubs and so on. Yeah. Well, of course, we were going to ask you about shops, but maybe Mary is the person to tell uh -huh. us about the shop. Yeah, there was, but the Bryson's kept the one shop there, they always. Uh, she, she has a very good name in Cumbernauld. She's she's Ma Bryson, Mary Bryson. One of the oldest, I think. Yes, I think so too. There's people bo uh, buried in that century, boys from the 1400s. Yes. Burke and Hare, you know, was, was, came to that cemetery uh -huh. and took some of the opened some of the graves. Mm -hmm. This is something you know. You yes, know? that is where my yes. boss used to get the names back and forth. That's that right. Is. That's oh, right. Yes. Well, uh, there was Bryce's shop, and then there was 
connection of nervous. Her sister married Mrs. Andrew Grant. That was another show. Mm -hmm. They were rivals, if you will. Of course. They were in op They were in the sh the very shop they were in then. Well, now, if you will, they used to be the other way about. Mm -hmm. And then there was Peggy Borders down the main street, wasn't it? And there was Mrs. Mm -hmm. The co-op was mm -hmm. a big thing. But see, the public houses, Croy was dry. Oh, yes, yeah, right. was a dry about. area. Oh, Condor right. was a dry area. They all came to Cumbernauld. They used to walk over from Croy and they used to come into the shop because the pub schools at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. They used to come into the shop to get their sweets and cigarettes, thingamas, because they had to walk home to Croy from Dull at the Dull Road. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could remember all that. Of course, people saw nothing but those no. days. I just think they're all gone. Mm -hmm. they're all gone. You mentioned the co-op now, of course the yes, co-op was where everybody did their big yes, shopping. Was what was this, Cumbernauld Co-op? Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. it was Cumbernauld then and there was there was a bakery and a drapery and a butcher's. Groceries. Groceries, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. It used to be. My husband's, his grandparents had a shop at one time and, and he was a tailor. Oh. And uh, it was that uh, was uh, Gillis and uh, uh, McGregor. They were at one time they had shops here mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. uh, there was all, you know, everything was catered yes, they did, for. They did, did for yes. themselves and more in those days. And Tommy's father, my f husband's father, uh, grandfather. Was a local baker. He was a baker for with what's the baker? Oh. And we, yes, well, he'd be pricing too. Or he was yes, pricing. Yes, he'd be pricing too. Because yes. uh -huh. uh -huh. they are the founders of the Bowling Green, and uh -huh. as well, yeah. you know. Because I have a photograph, the Bowling Green has it. Oh. When Captain Burns, when they first oh, formed course, it, you know, uh -huh. it's down in the Bowling Green. Yes. It belongs to me. Uh -huh. And a cup. There's a cup. <laughs> One outright. Did you have much to do with what they called the big house in those days? Did oh, you have yes. much to do yeah, with some practical well, yeah, I did yeah. 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 Yes, I didn't do uh, mm -hmm. They gave a gallery and thing. They gave a gallery or something yeah. for the children. Oh, yes. The uh -huh. gallery was a great thing. Mm -hmm. The Kremlin of the Queen. I got papers of that. Oh, the oh. news. Oh, well. I'm funny, I was going to show them all. Yes, perhaps, them perhaps, later, perhaps later we can mm -hmm. see that, yes. Mm. You used to have some good day. Uh, and then the, the cattle show day, the bones entry. Oh, that was that's was the first thing that George yeah. White said. Oh, that was the first thing. Yes. Yeah. He said, that's the bones entry. He said, remember when they held the cattle show down there? Mm -hmm. I said, well, that's it. Mm -hmm. So all these things, it's all changed. Mm -hmm. yes. Springfield now, as I said, it was built in concrete poles. That was Paul Park, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And of course, there were great gardeners in these parts. Oh, yes, yeah. no one has a no such thing as a fruit shop. Mm -hmm. The local Just fruiter came once on a Monday and on a Friday mm -hmm. from the next village with a washing cart mm -hmm. because everybody grew their own. Mm -hmm. Never thought of They just went to the garden and pulled what you wanted. Mm -hmm. so I don't think there was a fish shop. No, no. mine and Alan used to come. A van came round with fish. That's right. mm -hmm. Every Friday, Lizzie Crichton. Oh, every Friday and every was it Monday? Something like that. Yeah. They came twice a week. I had a, I had of a chip shop. It must yes, be one of the was or, or one, of, one of the original chip yeah. shops. They, they kept the chip one chip shop. That was two. That was is that a long time ago, I suppose? Yeah, well, well that Jimmy McWhorter no, 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 I know it was two. That was shrams. Much shrams. I saw one and a half pence. A fish supper. A fish supper. We used to take a walk around with a penny bucket chip. Bucket chip. A walk around the penny. A penny. A shrimp. And then Betty, she's in there, they kept the other fish and chip shop. That's right. They never sold the fish, they didn't sell it. It was a cook. It was a fish supper shop. You think of all these changes, there was this the end of the road, where we are now, that was the end of the road, where the manse was, that was a, the first road into Glasgow yes. years and years ago, mm -hmm. there was no houses, mm -hmm. nothing, old road was there, mm -hmm. it was after the war, yeah. mind the old Dalata road, that's closed up, that's closed they've got a new Dalata road. Right. And of course people walked miles in those days. They never thought anything, everybody, everybody mm -hmm. walked out. Yeah. 
But they used to go down to the, what do they call it, the, for the Covenanters? You oh, know, the opposite, yes, 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 down uh, opposite Oakies now, Burroughs, it used to be. Ah, yes, they went uh, over that field and down onto it. Yeah, I was never Only sure. Only once I ever I went and I saw that. Sure that, that happened. I've heard you it, know, of it's, um, where is there now? That was Ward know. Park, isn't it? Uh, mm -hmm. It's oh, Ward so Park that's now. It was. Yeah. Ah. But right opposite where Burroughs Oak is, mm -hmm. there used to be another field. Mm -hmm. And then it went right along and then dipped down into the bottom. That's and that right. is where they held it. Yes, because he won at Mr. Woods, mm. the minister then. Yeah, he was, yes. he was yeah. and Mr. Ogilvy, he was the oldest. Oh, yeah, minister. yes. Uh -huh. Did it, were either of you really good church scores? Did you go to the church? Uh, I'm afraid not. Mm. <laughs> Only a case. Uh -huh. Is this, because it's quite an interesting church. Uh, uh, of course, the two churches were different. This was the parish church. Yes. The other one was free church. Now, yes. is that the one that was taken In the down? Vine. No, the bell is oh, still no, there. Ah, yes, that's, that's the big hole now. It turned that then into I've, I've heard a that hole. there was one just, no, just, as, you en just as you entered yes. the main street. Yes, I've got a photograph right. of that and too. What was its name? The Bear Church. The Did man that invented beard? television, oh. the man that invented television, beard. his grandfather was a minister in there. Is that right? Because yes. I've had different names given to so all right, then that's been recorded The Bear Church. The Bear Church. Now, I'll um, tell you why, when Tommy was painting Pollock's house, mine, they lived, they lived yes. up on the corner, um, Dr. Pollock in the house. That's right. Uh, and he was painting, and was his name was scratched on the window. Oh. Mrs. Pollock oh. kept, and she never, yes. she would never have it changed. Oh. The man that John Logie yeah. bed, he had scratched his name on the windowsill. Oh, that's that's oh. very interesting. Is it still? Oh, because it can't exist because the building. Oh no, it's like built there. She, just she, she still got but it. I've got a photograph of it, a painting. Have yeah, my oh, son, oh, my I husband, and all this. I hope we'll see your things. Yes. yes. You, you mentioned yeah. doctors. I think was the medical service better those days. I think the doctor oh, no, came. paid six months a week, wasn't it? Six yeah. months a month. Something like that. Ah, yeah. paid Willie to collect it, didn't he? Uh -huh. Somebody, somebody collected, collected it. it. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Maybe a week, I think it was. Well, I think I paid six months a month for the well, I wouldn't family, be four of us. Uh -huh. And I mean, did the doctor come from here? Oh, was it was it quite good attention? Mm -hmm. My husband, my son was uh, bitten with a dog. I nailed his dog uh -huh. to his eye. And oh, and I think that was uh, we were in the bundle then. He was only a year and a half. I don't think people I mean, I think went it. to the doctor so often then. I think they treated yeah, things themselves. So yeah. it just, yes, you things were so entirely different. But yeah. You didn't hear so much about it. No. And it was Dr. Glenn. I mean, David Boyle, he, he taught John Boyle how to drive. Dr. Glenn, because yeah. he was bad. David Boyle now, his father was bad with nerves. Mm -hmm. And it just shows you how. Dr. Glenn used to take him out with him, and he taught him to drive. Mm -hmm. There was only three cars in coming off. Mm -hmm. Dr. Dr. Glenn, one. John Reed, the John Glenn, and Mr. Rennie, the one, the big house. Right. Of course, the Rennie of Karen, what's his name? Karen, Karen Edwards. Essie Cookers. Oh, yeah, the Karen Edwards. Yes, Karen Edwards. Yes, yes, Karen yes, Edwards. Yes, yes, Mr. Rennie was one of those, wasn't mm -hmm. he? That was where the library is now. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the old, mm -hmm. the old man, I think. Everywhere. What's his name is in there? I thought we had started a place, isn't it? Where the where the bank is used to be that a manse at one time. That's right. Oh, oh that's a manse. Yes, I always wondered if it's such a nice residential looking that's bank. That's right. It was a that a Mr. Manse. Woods was the minister in there. Oh. Well, he was the minister in the future. Oh, yes, about yeah. yeah. two years. Mm -hmm. Mr. Woods. His daughter lives in Kundora. She lives she's been in Kundora. She was, but I mean, if you count the ministers, there was Mr. Oldby and Mr. Clark, yes, uh, Mr. and now this one that is all has been since I've been here. Mr. Oldby, he wrote something about the village. He yes. wrote quite a bit about. He must have been very interested. So, so was Mr. Clark. He left a lot of documents, not terribly old ones, but things of interest to the historical. He sent them to us. Mm -hmm. Well, my husband's grandfather, he had the last shepherd's funeral. Shepherds, shepherds. They were called shepherds. Oh, that's right. And we have a friendly, a a friendly you know, society. Yes, that's that's right. Right. yes. yes. So I've got the group. He's got my Tom's got it. Oh, you know, know the line that oh, they carried. They carried this. I think um, 
who has had it, Elizabeth Shaw's lassie's had it for the church oh, sometime, especially at Christmas time, you know. Oh, but he still has it in his house. I didn't know did Because my daughter, she wanted it. She said, come on, I'll put it up on the wall, but it's way at the back of the yeah. unit. She's not interested, she's from Banno. Oh, from where? Banno. That's over the border, <laughs> the other side of Castle Cairn Bridge. Yeah. What do you think? That small world it was, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So it was. Everybody knew everybody. Oh, of course. Yes, you did. Related. That's, so that's the first thing I think when I came here. Yeah, I mind you, Huey Dirimple telling me, mm -hmm. Mary, talk about no one because they're all connected. That's right. That's the first I always remember them saying. I thought they were awful cheeky because they asked you. That's just really going. That's right. It's just honest to goodness curiosity. Yes, probably. Yeah. I would just like to know. Yes. I remember when I came here first, I was walking along the bottom road to the main street, and old Granny Gillis was sitting outside the front of the steps. Smoking a pipe. And uh, she was smoking a pipe. Oh, so I said, uh, so she spoke, and I, of course, I spoke. I said, um, Oh, she said, I waited on the doctor's opening. So I said, oh, but the doctor doesn't stay there. He stays up. Think of it. Goes to the pub. Oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> I was like, I said, her doctor. Oh, she said, I waited on the doctor's opening. But she was sitting on waiting 11 o'clock, waiting on the spur opening. Mm -hmm. and she lived until she was, what, 19? She smoked. And she worked in the pet when she was nine year old. So there we are. I did, the the sure, of course, there wasn't as much drinking in those days, but I think, no, was, I think there was a fair bit hidden. Oh. <laughs> uh, but I don't know, no, it wasn't. Oh, no, the, the, there wasn't the open drink. It wasn't the same. No. I mean, the first time I came here to stay was we were bombed out. We came on a Saturday night, it was Saturday with my husband. We'd been a walk with a car, but she was just in the front. We'd been a walk right around the village, and I was taking her home to Mark, according to the shop. While we were in the short toy, Arthur Johnston came in, you know, he's a local builder, he's retired now, it's his sons. And we were there, and he says to me, hey, boy, he says, come on, Tommy, and get a look, get a drink for me. He says, oh, in time, she's little boys. So he went. I can always remember then, I was in the shop. He who should come in but Mrs. Stevenson. That was a local postman's wife. She was from Falkirk. And she came in and she says, Sure. Nelly was behind the counter. I just had the biggest shock of my life. So Nelly had a seat. So Nelly said, Why well, isn't Mrs. Stevenson? Someone knocked down. She said, No, I just seen Tommy Bryson walking barefaced into the local pub. <laughs> oh, I was in the way, oh, I was in the way. I waited till he came home at nine o'clock. You don't do these things. See if you wait, she waited a wee bit. He said, I wish she had told me, because he said, if she'd walked down to the spur corner, she would have seen her daughter going in the side door. Oh, <laughs> See, this is what these are things you all remember. I can't remember that. <laughs> but, I mean, there, Davy Haig, he married the daughter of the postman. They were great friends, we were all we know now. You, you mentioned the old lady with her pipe. I mean, oh, you, 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 were, you were young at this yeah, time. Yeah, you must, oh. There must have been quite a few characters. Oh, wasn't there? Granny Gillis was one, wasn't she? Okay. I mean, I, I, I was a country child too. You had the dafty and the dummy. I mean, you, you, those were quite affectionate here. Right. You, you, <laughs> must have, you must have had those Well, too. then look at Archie McNeil, he was a brilliant violinist. I've young. seen him sitting in the park. Late in the sun, at night, and playing his violin in the park. I mean, he wasn't quite right there, and everybody was afraid of him. And yet, it was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So these are things that you can all go back to. Yes, the people looked after them in the village too. Yes, I kept an eye on them. Yes, as I say. But they didn't. Did you stay in Brandon Baker, man? No, yeah. we stayed between, you know where Mrs. Nazir is now? Oh, yeah. yeah. Was this, um, Peggy Bryce lived out there in Scott. That's before they went to the uh, uh, place. Before my uh -huh. time. Yeah. And think who lived out there too now? Um, it was the Blairs when I was there. Yes, that's right. Mrs. McBurney on the other uh -huh. side. Uh -huh. 
uh, the bracelet for uh, that's in that tiny. Uh -huh. uh, they caught the, uh, he was the one that collected the money for that's the doctor. Right, for the doctor. Mm -hmm. So there we are. Uh -huh. That's only for war. If you think of all the families, you could go there. Mm -hmm. Because most of, most of the, the, the bits of those families still here, I think. The, the, the names haven't changed. Yeah. No, no, that's right. It's lost in that character. No, Barney Brayson, I mean, he was. There's one of the characters. Mm -hmm. What makes you remember him? Then there's only one left from the Charlie Blaine. He'd be about one of the oldest yeah. around here. Mm -hmm. He lives around the path, I think, the whole thing. He's set himself. He's about the only one, isn't he? Of course, the, the, the pe oh, okay. people who were so mainly handicapped, as we call them now, they still stayed with their families and were well, right. in their family. He stays himself. He goes to his daughter a lot. They weren't the same to me. But, um, I mean, this end of the village was separate mine from the new houses. They didn't. <laughs> they never recognised. This end of the village never recognised the new houses. <laughs> where, where did the people in the new houses come from? Well, they came. Some of them came from Paris, right? And oh, they were. It was. They, you know, the, you see, the, when the wall broke out, with long with terrace, it wasn't quite finished. Mm -hmm. In 19, when the wall broke out, the first threatened the first wall. I was in London, but here. Um, they were going to put troops in there, mm -hmm. and the council heard about it, so they just put, they grabbed all the people they could, greyhounds, the larghounds. Mm -hmm. That's how they all got into Longwood Terrace. Mm -hmm. You see, yeah. they just put them all in as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. My Archie Johnson, he'll tell you, right there. Mm -hmm. Here's one. Oh, Archie Johnson, he's a local builder. Mm -hmm. He knew all these things, because mm -hmm. he had the photographs, and he, he could pick out one or two of the mistakes oh. that Tommy had made, you know. I mean, they were the, his father was a local builder, they were the local builders. Of course, you'd have the same thing here during the war, you know, men, women, men, the yeah, same men. So. It was just the same experience. Of the, the first three, the first three was John Scott, oh. Ellen Scott's man, he was in a, a territorial, he was only a boy. And who's the other two? Jack Ross. Jack Ross oh. was one. Mm -hmm. um, he could tell you there was another one, I forget, forgotten his name. But there were three of them, and they were just, they were the first three to be called out of Cumberland. I've never counted how many names there are in the world. But for a small village, oh, that's two. For a small no, village, that's, two, that's two, uh, quite enough. My father in law is the first name. Is that right? Yeah, I must have been there. The regiment is that a It is. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the Vakis coming when the Clyde Bank Blitz. Oh, yes. I remember them. We've got some of them, we've got some of them too here. Yes, I should have watched them. I remember it. in particular one old woman, she only had on slippers and a, an army great coat and a nightdress and underneath them. Mm -hmm. All of them was a lot of poor souls. Mm -hmm. Of course, that would happen very suddenly. Yes, They'd have to get away from their houses at the bank. And that's where they'd be lodged with people here. People would take them. Well, the, uh, first of all, I think they went into a hall, didn't they? And that was uh -huh. in the house. Then they opened up Richmond House, didn't they? I think it was in the house with empty dirt and they put some of them up and gave them rooms. It was a, one of the big houses. Right? Uh -huh. so, there was quite a lot of room. Yeah. Because I know Mott's Cottage was one, they had a new, the, well, Nielsen, that she'd married to a Nielsen, right? At one time there was a lot of people in Glasgow who had all of the houses out here. Did you ever? Did you yes, ever? Yes, they had. Yes, they had. Oh. The she had a holiday. Yes, that's how a lot of the people here came to be here. Because they had holiday in the attics and different things. Oh, that's that's been interesting. Yes, I think. Holidays. Yeah, so they 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 replaced Tommy drew that and who lived? They had called me Shira, mother. She, her house, they were uh -huh. holiday houses, you know, yeah. down the back. Mm -hmm. Down the back has been replaced now, of course, it's, it's a right away walk. 
That's when I take the dog every day to come around there. But it's all changed. Because everybody wonders about the business of where the railway station is. Did you use the railway station a lot? No, not yet, but the uh, station could be... Because there, there were more houses at the station at that time. Yeah. No, there was no, no one, no. Oh. That's all changed. I thought there were no cottages dotted around. I have a painting of the first church, mine, the church hall. Yeah. Mine, the church hall, uh -huh. it used to be, and the shop, there was only one, one shop. shop. Oh. Yeah. And it was Harry, kind of, he was a postman at the post office mm. and the local shop. That's on the corner and then there's the, the local hall. All the rest is the fields. What mind you was the town clerk. Yes. And mm. Mr the minute the headmaster of the school. Oh brought his name brought and she was a local council wife. Mm. He was the headmaster of the school. They lived there. Broad oh. broad something. But so you can go back all through then then there was what only one row of houses. There was the, the railway cottages, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. Willie Bells is still there. Oh yes, yeah. that's right. Uh -huh. Tom White, I mean he had the local bus. Mm -hmm. He came down. He brought he's them down from the station. Oh, he's called oh, the Easy it was mm -hmm. He used to bring the school children down from the station mm -hmm. It's After a certain age, he yeah. runs to Cosyth as well. That's right. On a Saturday night, he went to pictures mm -hmm. and go to Cosyth. Because I've had problems before this about this horse drawn wagon that went between the villages. That's, That's right. right. It was it was one bit time. before the time. Yeah. Before yeah. Talking, yes. I think that was a Welsh family then that uh -huh. had that walker. Uh -huh. They lived in Finley Place. Mm -hmm. Now she went. They went. To, she married someone in Croy, uh -huh. and she died about. I tell you why, Agnes Egan, Agnes Graham, oh. she was funny with her. And so she said to me, I was talking to Ms. Walker. Walker, she was, if she had died, she died. But they were the first Welsh local family. And he had a horse drawn cart that used to, that Finley, Joe Finley, he had, he had the first taxi then. Yeah. Was there any weaving still in the village when you folks came? Like that was the factory and uh, Miss 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 you know, the end of the main street, when you can see it, they were weavers' cottages. I mean, you can, I think I've heard they were weavers' cottages, but I was wondering if there was any up well, to the ward. Uh, well, there's what is a, a garage she showroom now. It's well, right the very, the as it takes the town. Is that yeah, the bad bad yes. Yes. Uh -huh. You can see that there have been small cottages. Yeah. I was told once. And the machines lived in one. Uh -huh. yeah. The machines lived in the corner. Uh -huh. I don't, I don't, I, that's no. all the thing was the and the other yeah, side the talking factor. Mm -hmm. I remember that one in the in the end. Yeah. It's, it's just as I've heard that the Dorrit was the weavers. Yes, because my great grandfather was one. I've heard that in Cumberland they wove checked blankets, but I've never ever seen one. Have you ever seen no, one? No, no, never no, seen no. one. No. See, there's no one left. I know. No, there's no. I'm only Bryson left. Mm -hmm. There's no one left. Nancy Sheila, Chrissy Bryson, there's no one there. I don't think there's anyone at all. I'm trying to think. Only the oldest one, Peggy Gray and Jean Gray. There's just sometimes you know, in the families, there's the old ghosts and kept, and it's just yes, kept there because it's not right. so loud. Uh, but I've never seen one of these checked blankets I've heard about. I've got a heavy Welsh one, but no, no it's got it's not a made, not made here. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There was no lights in coming on. No, no such thing, no lights. Paraffin. <laughs> oh, no, the main street. Some oh, no, there's no lights in the main street. Because remember, the bus stop used to be across from um, where the doctor is, if you were now. That was the only bus stop. Because I remember when uh, the Russells, mind one of the Russell asses worked, she was a conductress on the bus. And the mother came through, running through, the bus had moved away. She had her piece. She said, that's her away without that piece. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and whose buses, whose buses were those then? 
Alexander. See, Alexander was a local. He was the one that first repaired bicycles in the village. Oh, I see. He, so he started in, in Cumberland. And do you know where Willie had a shop? Mind. Yeah. And the corner where next to Pollock Smithy, there used to be a smithy there. Oh. Where Bun Green Terrace was, that was a smithy. Yeah. That's the, he was at Charles Alexander, was in there. So it was the Mr. Alexander. What the Alexander? Here. Oh, what's 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 that? It Walter, 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 that's right. Walter Alexander. So he actually started off in Cumberland. Uh, uh, from Bonnybridge he was. Uh, but he had uh, he used to repair yes, bikes, and then he had a uh, started. I don't know how he ran the bus. Um, so the first bus was what well, the seat was up the middle of a. I mean, me no cover and no nothing. Mm -hmm. you just open. Open. <laughs> open. I can mind a grand progression to get in there. They used to go into Glasgow. I remember that. I mean, I just, I'd heard them say about that. Because it would be clear, wouldn't it, Glasgow? In those days, you would have the back. There was no such thing as a main road. There was that. Down the old road, that's why it's called the old road. Yeah, road. That was the only road, road into Glasgow. Yes. Uh, you'd hardly believe it now. When you look at right around about, as yeah. I say, you see the farm. That's why I tell them all in the new town. Of course, we used to, we used to come up there with a the farm for walk. Walk to the station or walk. Uh, I've seen me take the farm, go up into Glasgow. Put the tram in the train, you know, you have to walk out and walk back. Never thought of it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It just shows you. Mm -hmm. So, do, do you think the changes are there for the worse? The oh, I think we were, we were better, they were better off as a village, weren't we? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I think a new town killed mm -hmm. us. It's not the same. Mm -hmm. There was what, only 340 people on the voters' roll at mm -hmm. one time. Mm -hmm. And now there's what, 82,000? When you think of April and Hell now, my gosh, to go up there at the back of the hall is unbelievable. It's a man who's out there. Unbelievable. You walked up to the round to the mine. You climbed up the, where I am now, uh, up the rocky. Right. You actually, there was no road, no path. You had to climb up. You crossed yeah. where the cottage theatre is. They were the they were the the cottages mm -hmm. for the gamekeepers of the big house. Oh, yes, I sure. still got I got them mm -hmm. because see when old Mrs. Hamilton was where Hamilton lived with his a son yeah. and he, he he came in sometime or something and he took the photograph and his mother had that until she died. Oh. She used to look at it all the time. Mm -hmm. He gave it back after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are things that all go from mm -hmm. That's right. Funny how far we can always take her, uh -huh. can't really see. I don't know the shape where we started. So do you think you can exhaust it yourself, ladies, <laughs> have you? Or you couldn't exhaust yourself? Well, no, you couldn't exhaust yourself. To meet someone that actually, you look at mine, I mean, you could go back years. Mm -hmm. That's right. She was an untrained queen. She mm -hmm. was a queen. Mm -hmm. Mine had ended. Her That's sister turned on. Oh, she right. died two years ago. There's no one left at all. Cathy Graham. She was an ex-queen, there you are. She lives over there. The the second. The mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's the second was, house. Was that when there was the big thing at the end? Yes, it was coming all the Yes, It was a lovely background for us. Yes, that's right. Cathy Graham, the first queen? I think Cathy Graham was the first one. She, she lives just there. She was the second house. She was born and brought up here. That's right. Yes, we would quite like to borrow, you know, photographs and so on. Yeah, uh -huh. But funny, the parky and the fact the shop, he's in the shop now that Nell is, my uh, husband's aunt is in my jean shop. So yeah. Bert, Bert Greaves sold it to Jean. Mm -hmm. He bought it off Nelly, oh. and that's yes. her niece. And then he sold it to, the sh sold the shop to Jean, but he kept the building. Uh -huh. so, yeah. He didn't sell the building. But we had a chance to go into it, but I didn't go into it, you know, I didn't want to go into a family. Anyway. I don't think that's a very attractive me. Outside staircase, you know, as you, as you come up the village ministry, was that always a house or was that a shop too? Yeah, well, the one down at uh, it is on, it's on the bridge as you come up in yes. the main street, and it was it a nice was house. It was like stage or something oh. like that. That's what Maguire lived in. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Who was the original? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a real Scottish uh -huh, bit of building, yes, isn't it? Uh -huh. He had a lassie mind. She was a girl, wasn't she? A connection of a Jan Robinson, Jan Smith. Mm -hmm. 
Macintyre. 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 Because I've seen us going to the pictures. My ma gave the pictures in the old church hall. That was interesting. And I've seen him, we've been out in the picture, and he left his matches. And he said, oh, I need to go back over there and fetch my matches. I said, nowhere in Britain would you ever think of anybody going out to the picture house to fetch the matches across the house. I can always remember them saying that. Oh, what a good. Because we were sitting with Willie and Annie, I was, and Willie Moffat. We were sitting with Mrs. Moffat. And I always mind Willie Dent saying, Mary, you're in the the, the windshield seat. The back (laughs) row upstairs. I always sat in the corner myself. Mm -hmm. She said, Mary, this is her own, this is the windshield seat. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And we were all, the five of us, were sitting Mm -hmm. there. Was this a proper picture A proper picture house? Yes. That was clear the old. Church was. Church oh, was. Yes. that is where the church was. So was it the picture house after it was the church? Yes. Was that yes. It? Oh, yes. yes. It was the bingo hall, the first bingo hall in Oh, yeah, too. But you said there was a pub called the Black Bull, was it? Finished that's it. Uh, uh, you know, just came. been changed across oh. keys. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. just, it's the Black Bull now. The original oh, Black Bull was a spiral down. That was a taller bull. Yes. Because it was quite historic, wasn't it? Yes, there were two entrances, could mind. They used to go into the, the main bar, we used to go into the side. Oh. I remember they used to, when the, this place opened first, they had Kayleys. Oh. They used to old folk, and we used to come and big cheats still in. Oh. Mina, me, Thorburn, oh. and Margaret Kane, oh. and Joyce. We used to come, and we always went in for a drink to the lounge. Oh. In the, it was the Blackwood Lounge. Daring, daring to do what is on the side, yeah. elaborate. Because I always remember going in there for and wanted what was it? Something else. I just certain drink. And I remember the thing of my boy, she was a kid, mm. the manager is in there. Mm-hmm. Is a boy. Is a good boy. And she said, Well, I haven't got the whites of an egg, you need to have the whites of an egg for me. Mm-hmm. And Big Jean says to me, run down to the house and get a couple of eggs. <laughs> and I went down to her house, she lived at the bottom of the main street, and I went to her house and her Johnny was in, I said, give me three eggs out of the fridge. And that's how she switched, just what some certain drink that we had, because I always remember us coming up here to the, to the Kayla, you know. Mm-hmm. See, these are things you could do. Mm-hmm. Yes, these these village names keep on popping up. The Boyle family, are they not the spirit one time? Yes, yes. 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 Yes, that was quite a nice wee baker's shop there wasn't until recently. Again, just coming into the village, it was kind of up close. That's the right. right. No, mm-hmm. no, that was the home bakery. Oh, I was uh-huh. made the their, uh-huh. stuff, their stuff was nice. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're further up the street now. Oh, is it the same one? Yes. Yeah, oh, well, I thought it just disappeared altogether. The daughter, and she has got that one up with the, the Chinese. Daughter. Yes, the daughter. They kept the corner shop, which used to work the Chinese, the Indians took it over oh, and they yes. had to close it. Oh, that was the corner shop. Uh-huh. That so that's a Cumbernauld family. That was a Cumbernauld family. What was, was the name of Blair. 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 Her father used to collect the doctor money. Oh, oh that was the one. Well, that was a great place. So many people regret it going. Mm-hmm. Yes, I mean, but I, I think that Mrs. Blair wanted to retire and it's Mrs. McLean. Mrs. McLean. She was a daughter. Blair. McLean went out Yes. I mean, you look across at the doctors now, and you think, I mean, I heard someone this morning when I came up the Glasgow Road, the last uh, minutes from the station, she stopped the same fellow. She said, is it you to stay above the fish the shop? Fish shop, no, the, the oh, fish yeah. tap. Yes, uh, and he says, no, why? Oh, she said, are there all the houses left? She was looking for it for one moment. Mm-hmm. That was Mrs. Glenn to flats. They've sold it, they've sold it, there's somebody in it anyway. Mm-hmm. But Violet Glenn, Dr. Glenn's daughter, she, they sold it. Mm-hmm. Was she in Rossi? She was in Rossi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We were in Rossi looking for her. Right? Mm-hmm. So, there we are.
Wait, I suppose it would be quite a nice walk to along the glade. Oh, I've heard it. Oh, it's your walk. Yes, yeah, 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 most people were out for a walk on a Sunday. That's right. 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 So we went into the taxi and he said, I said, come to the village, please. Mm -hmm. Didn't say come, just to the village, please. Mm -hmm. okay. So here, I never noticed. The next thing, Betty, she's in there, she says to me, hey, we've got the wrong way. And we were halfway to Condora. She said, just a minute, you're going the wrong way. He said, he, he said, you want the village? I said, yes, come to the village. Oh, he said, I was taking you to Condora village. I said, that's the first time ever I heard yes. Condora being called a village. He's not a local man. No, he wasn't. No. So he said, this is, my, this is the first time I've been on this, oh. this run. But I said, so he took us right back, right round. I said, right, take us to the chip shop. Never mind anywhere else. Take us just to the chip shop. <laughs> because to take you up the roadside and up Carrick Road, you would have got lost again. So once you get to the chip shop, you know, I was going down the road and betting to go down the road. But see, I was... I didn't misunderstand. I said, there's no such place as can... I've never heard of that. You, you say that regular, uh, because for a while, anybody asked her where you're from. When you say this village, you mean Cumberland. Yeah. Anybody asked her, pal of mine, that she died to you, uh, where you from, you know, she used to say, Cumberland, the village. Come on, all the only one place in the village. You they never accepted the mine at the new town. They never accepted it. You must have felt a bit swamped when people began coming. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's all different. I mean, yeah. I'm in the terrace, and there's only three local ones mm -hmm. that I know. All the rest are all strangers. Yes. They've had their houses uh, taken from them. They couldn't keep them up. You know, mortgages and that. Oh, and that's right. where good that they can't end with that. And yet there's only three, three regulars. What do you think of it? It's all changed. I mean, the new house, it was known as a white place, wasn't it? Way full from the new house. That was enough. Now we're going all fancy with that. We could tell them came over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't know if you're in the village? No, we don't. You know what they all you look to see in Hartford. You could count on your hands and hands. Who is the original? Peggy Gray and Jean Gray. George Scott. That's about all down the old road. That's about that's about all down the old road. Carrot Road is Betty. Morag, well Morag had been back no for years. Just she was not long after she was she was married. So they had things, they were bracing, a different bracing again. That's right. Mm -hmm. But it's unbelievable. And of course now there's a big new plan and there's more changes mm -hmm. going to be. Have you been to see the plan in there? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> yes, we have to meet the historic committee in the wee room, it's in the wee committee room, so we're having a look at it. And then we're going to be taking a lot of the, the lime rigs. Yes, they're going to, I think, they're going to yeah. disappear, which was one of the features of the village. Right. Mm -hmm. See, then Guy's Meadow, I heard that, that man, that walker had bought. Guy's Meadow used to be, used to, that used to be the first football park in yes. Cumberland Road. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that's where the Cumberland Road United mm -hmm. is, Guy's Meadow now. Yeah. Well, Walker had bought that, he was turning it into a nightclub. Mm -hmm. yeah. But here, I hear he's been turned down. No, it is to be a social club. That's, yes. that's what the license is for. Mm -hmm. So I heard that it's to be knocked down. I heard these are going to build private home houses there. But I don't know. Because you people are the victims of all the cars standing <laughs> yeah. in all these cars. And believe it was. There was only three cars in Cumberland. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Never thought of such a thing. You walked everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I still walk. I mean, I'm no different. Mm -hmm. Walking from New time, I never take a bus. Yeah. Walk up and walk down. Mm -hmm. I had a, it was a pony cart brought the milk. That's right. Oh, is that for yeah. Yeah. Which, which farm was that from? That was McLaughlin. That's right, just there, the old farm. The oh, old yeah. farm. 
and they come around with a pony and uh, Dr. Lowe with your children. Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah. That's right, you had your milk fresh yeah. every morning. Well, at least it was fresh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't <laughs> do you just think about it, do you? Because the baker's the mostly made their own bread too. Oh, there wasn't all that big centralised baking. I was a kid in school. I was. Uh -huh. and we used to take. My mother used to make our own bread twice a week. Mm -hmm. We took our, took it to the bakehouse. We folded it, and then we used to take it home and fetch it up to school. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Ye